Yes, dear students, welcome to MSBT's e-content. Lead study at your doorstep. Today we have to study the program of civil engineering and the course is environmental studies having course code 22447 and today's topic is environment topic number one we have to satisfy coa that is develop public awareness about the environment and for this we have to study unit outcome uo 1a 1b and 1c so these two are the agenda points of today's lecture first is environment its need and scope and second is segments of environment and the takeaway is understand about environment and its segments and the contents are definitions need of environmental studies and segments of environment so the learning objectives are 1a discuss the scope of environment 1b describe various types of environment and 1c describe the importance of environmental studies so now this is a concept map of environment in this concept map you can understand you can see the biotic as well as abiotic components now definition of environment the word environment is derived from the French word enviro, which means surrounding. Therefore, our environment can be defined as the physical, chemical, and biological world that surrounds us. In simple way, the environment is a place around us, including various biotic and abiotic components. The biotic components constantly interact with the abiotic components for their survival and existence. So from this figure, you can easily understand that environment has biotic components, that is living things. Examples are the living things. Second component is abiotic components, means non-living things. And these are the examples of non-living things now we have to study types of environment first type is natural environment natural environment means the environments without the interference of the human beings that environment is called as natural environment and includes all livings and non-living things on the earth surface second type of environment is man-made environment or artificial environment and this includes the environment which has been changed or modified by the interference of human being which includes infrastructure utilities institutions housing industries parks buildings energy networks transportation etc third type of environment is social environment man is a social animal and the social environment includes social, economic and political conditions where human life. This includes customs, traditions, ethics, languages, culture, professions and living conditions. And the last type of environment is psychological environment which includes the psychological environment enables us to understand the personality of an individual both the person and his goal from his psychological environment. Now we have to study the structure of environment. So there are two structures of environment. First is physical environment structure and second is biological environment structure. Physical environment structure includes solid, liquid and gases and biological environment includes flora that is plants and fauna means animals. After that, we have to study scope of environment. By knowing the knowledge of this subject, the people understand 
the complexity of environmental issues. By knowing this subject, we can find the solutions for the environmental problems. The current trends of environmental degradation can be reversed if the peoples of educated communities are organized and empowered. By knowing this subject, we can develop eco-friendly technologies and by this we can save the natural resources as well as reduce the environmental pollution and impacts on public health. So as the new earth is not discovered till now, we have no other option except to maintain the ecological balance on the planet earth so that the livable environment should be kept for our future generations. The major areas where the role of environmental scientists are very important are natural resources, ecosystem, biodiversity and its conservation, environmental pollution, social issues, human population and environment. Then we have to study needs and importance of the environmental studies. First is public awareness. Second is environment issue being of international importance. Third is problem cropped in the wake of development. Conserve energy for the alternative solutions. Then save species from extinction save the natural resources, reduce the pollution, wise planning of development and sustainable development. Then we have to study the segments of environment. There are four segments of environment, atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere and biosphere. So biosphere, let, let us study these segments in detail. The atmosphere implies the protective blanket of gases surrounding the earth. You can see from this picture, it sustains life on the earth. It saves from the hostile environment of outer space. It absorbs most of the cosmic rays from outer space and a major portion of the electromagnetic radiation from the sun. It transmits only here ultraviolet visible near infrared radiation and radio waves while filtering out tissue damaging ultraviolet waves below about 300 nm. Next segment is hydrosphere. Hydrosphere means all types of water resources which are available on the earth and below the earth. 71% of earth area is covered by water. And 97% of the earth's water supply is available in oceans. 2% water sources is locked in the polar ice caps and glaciers. And only 1% is available as precious surface and underground water for the human consumption. Third type of segment is lithosphere. Lithosphere is the outer mantle of solid earth. It consists of minerals, organic matters, air and water. Biosphere indicates realm of living organisms and their interaction with the environment. Biosphere includes atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere where the interaction of biotic and abiotic uh, components are there. So dear students, what we have studied today, we have studied environment, its definition and scope, types of environment, structure of environment, needs and importance of environment, segment of environment. Now let us have a quiz. These are the references which are responsible for the outcome of today's lecture. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Happy learning. Again, we will meet for the next session in the same MLBT e-content. Thank you very much. Good day.